May the jury find the defendant, Kyle H. Rittenhouse, not guilty. Acquitted. Kyle Rittenhouse drops to his chair trembling after he's found not guilty of all charges, including the murder of two men. This is Nightside. I'm Miranda Parnell. The jury deliberated for three days before reaching a verdict. The 18 year old was facing multiple charges. Those charges included homicide, attempted homicide and recklessly endangering safety. He could have spent his life in prison had he been found guilty. Jurors ultimately had to decide whether the case against him boiled down to self defense or vigilantism. After the trial, Rittenhouse's attorney doubled down on his defense. As he said, when he testified, he did not start this and we're thankful in more ways than one that the jury finally got to hear the true story. But where one side feels justice has been served, another, including the loved ones of those killed, feel they've been stripped of it. I miss Anthony every single day. Every day I wish that I could come home to him and unload some of this weight that's on my shoulders. But I can't because he's dead. And now this system is telling me that nobody needs to answer for that. And I have a problem with that. Both sides were represented outside of the courthouse as the verdict was read and dozens of people gathered in support of Rittenhouse with others there in protest of the verdict. Now this was the largest crowd since the trial started with both sides peacefully voicing their opinions. If you had to fight for your life and defend Never. yourself, absolutely. Never. And I would defend you in that right. You can defend me all you want. I'll never get out if I did the same thing he did. Conversations like those are happening with friends and family all across the country tonight, and that includes here in the Bay Area. 10 Tampa Bay's Angelina Salcedo spoke to a community activist and a legal expert to get a local view of the verdict's impact. While the nation waited, I am very concerned over um, many cases. NAACP President Yvette Lewis knew what was coming. Very disappointing, but not, um, but not surprised by the verdict. Why not? Because from the time this case began, um, this, everything was just in this in this young man's favor. Kyle Rittenhouse was 17 years old when he shot and killed two and injured one on the night protests broke out in Kenosha over the shooting of Jacob Blake. The jury tasked with deciding if Rittenhouse's actions were intentional or out of self-defense. It's not whether he did it or not. It's whether the government proved beyond a reasonable doubt that the elements of each crime were met. Former assistant prosecutor and current law professor Anthony Flores says the jury found the defense was justified. I respect the, 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 ver the jury verdict. I just don't know what the consequences are. It sets the tone that we have to live in in this world, no matter where you at. It sends a negative message to um, the white population that this is okay, that it's okay to kill people and that you can walk away with it. And I mean negative because no one deserves that right, okay, to die. While race shouldn't play a factor in the courtroom. I am not naive enough not to believe some of that, not, not to believe that that might. However, in this instance, we did have a white defendant shooting white victims in, and, with, and being judged on by a primarily white jury. And so, you know, could it have been different with different facts? It, yes, yes, it could have. Um, I hope not. And all of this began more than a year ago during protests for Jacob Blake, who was paralyzed after being shot seven times in the back by a police officer. It's been a long journey to get here tonight. So let's take a look back. Kyle Rittenhouse was charged after investigators say he was seen on cell phone video firing a rifle on a third night of demonstrations in Kenosha, Wisconsin in August of last year. Two men, Joseph Rosenbaum and Anthony Huber, were killed. Another man, Gage Grosskreutz, was wounded. About a month later, Rittenhouse's attorney say he acted in self-defense. 
Then in October, Rittenhouse was extradited from Illinois to Wisconsin. A judge set his bail at $2 million. Within weeks, conservative groups had helped him raise enough money to get out. Fast forward nearly a year to November 1st, when jury selection began in the trial. And today, after three weeks of trial, he was acquitted. 